envisioned being able to maintain composure and gathered amidst a traffic bottleneck, or having to have a challenging talk with your supervisor, or even handling an individual crisis. This is the strength of the age-old philosophy of Stoicism, which has helped people survive for centuries, leading more contented and joyful lives. Stoicism teaches us that all that matters is all we really have control over is our own minds and takes all other necessary actions from the economy, the weather, and other people's actions which are not within our control. Acceptance of this reality gives us control, liberating ourselves from the fear and aggravation that results from attempting to govern entities that are not under our control. Additionally, Stoicism helps us focus on our own, which is within our control. By making an effort to live a moral life, we can build a feeling of contentment and serenity within that is independent of outside circumstances. In this video, we'll explain and examine 10 insightful lessons from Stoicism that can assist you in finding inner peace and controlling your feelings. Join us on this path of self-exploration as we examine the age-old Stoic wisdom and discover how to use it in today's life. The first lesson is to embrace what you can manage. Epictetus from the Stoic era provides us an essential lesson that functions as the foundation of Stoic thought, the contrast between control and what's beyond our control. Our impact on this idea is essential in establishing a composed and tranquil manner, even when faced with life's uncertainties. Epictetus suggests that we focus our efforts and attention on the facets of life that are within our purview for management, such as our intentions, actions, thoughts, and reactions. By focusing our attention on what is actually under our control, we are able to move through life with a sense of purpose and proficiency. It is the recognition that our inner world is within our dominion and constitutes the bedrock of our peace. On the other hand, outside factors and situations, which often resist our influence, are to be recognized as existing outside the purview of our command. For example, just as an archer is able to carefully aim and draw the bowstring precisely, then release the arrow expertly, but are still unsure of the result of the flight, we have to learn to let go of our attachment to the results we cannot govern. This release is not an act of surrender, but an acceptance of equitableness in the face of the innate unpredictability of nature. The metaphor of Epictetus's archer, who finds satisfaction in realizing they've given it their all irrespective of the outcome for the target, acts as a powerful reminder of the Stoic approach to life. It motivates us to focus on our goals and the committed efforts we made, accepting that the outcomes are susceptible to a wide range of outside variables. In general, Stoicism serves as a reminder to grab control of our inner selves, accepting the control dichotomy as an effective tool to keep a composed and tranquil temperament in a society where a lot stays outside of our sphere of influence. By focusing our efforts on what we can control, we are able to break free from the weight of trying to control the unpredictable enabling us to learn tranquility in the understanding that we've done our best with the resources available to us. The second lesson is on disposal, the power of acceptance. Within the vast fabric of Stoic philosophy, a few figures stand as tall as the emperor of Rome, Marcus Aurelius, a philosopher. His profound ideas, frequently etched in the timeless meditations, reverberate through the centuries and shed light on one of the most powerful teachings of Stoicism, the lesson of acceptance. Marcus Aurelius directs us 
in accepting the human condition, admitting the inevitability of both triumph and trial. Life, in his opinion, is a continuous symphony of ups and downs, an ebb and flow within dynamically changing circumstances that exist outside of our sphere of influence and are unable to be regulated. As a stoic wise man, Marcus Aurelius praises the virtue of acknowledging these unchangeable facts to accept and embrace, in the stoic sense, the fact that life is unpredictable and transient. It serves to liberate the chains connecting to particular outcomes and to move in unison with the continuous beat of the cosmos. In Marcus Aurelius's remarks, opposition to the way things naturally unfold leads only to turbulence and anguish, similar to a ship battling the infinite present. The acceptance, seen from a stoic perspective, is similar to launching a ship on the sea of existence without a predetermined endpoint. However, maintaining a firm belief in the journey itself serves as a request to give up the need for absolute control and, instead of exerting control, go with the constantly shifting flow of life, to dance with the cosmic music, regardless of whether the notes are calm or turbulent, epitomizes the personification of stoic temperance. This lesson forms the foundation of personal calm and composure. It begs us to throw open our arms to the whims of life, to relish the sweetness of achievement and endure the storms of adversity with grace. As the power of Marcus Aurelius's illumination of acceptance acts as a lighthouse, it directs us across the maze of existence, enabling us to welcome each moment and each situation with calm composure. It is the calm that comes from accepting life in all its unpredictable nature, finding deep peace in the midst of its ever-changing landscape. The third lesson is on mindfulness. Practice mindfulness, specifically in the teachings of the ancient Stoic philosopher Seneca, whose knowledge has survived the ages, sheds light on an important lesson for those trying to relax and maintain poise amid life's challenges and tempests. The mindfulness practice in Stoicism, referred to as awareness, is a compass directing us toward the coast of the current, providing a haven from the unending turbulence of regrets from the past and prospects and uncertainties of the future. In its fundamental form, mindfulness is the practice of living in the moment, focusing only on the here and now with deep awareness. This is the remedy for the negative effects of rumination the incessant agitation of the mind over anxieties for the future and past grief. The Stoic lessons of Seneca invite us to honor the profundity and beauty of the present, acknowledging its existence as the only moment that is truly ours. The mindfulness technique, as described by Seneca, is not limited to just the remarkable times in life, but opens its arms to the common and ordinary. It motivates us to observe life's fabric with a keen eye from the astounding to the seemingly insignificant. In the process, we separate ourselves from the grips of the agony of remorse and the immobilizing hold of fear. This stoic awareness is a priceless tool for maintaining inner serenity and clarity, serving as a link to the valuable now, establishing a connection to the profound simplicity of the moment. It enables us to completely interact with the situation as it is now, to appreciate each breath and to savor the beauty revealed with each heartbeat. By engaging in mindfulness practices, we find an eternal sanctuary where the mental space for inner peace and calmness is fostered and grown in the midst of the whirling waves of existence. The fourth lesson is to cultivate resilience. In the enormous environment of stoic wisdom, the lessons of resilience echo as a thunderous anthem. 
the Stoic philosopher Epictetus par excellence, speaks up to impart to us the profound skill of facing and enduring hardship with unwavering fortitude. Adversity resistant fortitude is not an enemy to be avoided, but a sharp tool that sculpts our character's masterpiece. Stoicism, rooted in the natural order of things, conveys the essential reality that difficulties are the warp and weft of existence. Stoics do not consider hardship to be a barrier or a cause of pain, but instead as an occasion, a crucible that modifies and polishes their internal metal. Epictetus invites us to resist fading before life's turbulence, but to endure steady as the unwavering oak, not phased by the tempest. The core of this stoic perspective lies in the deep understanding that it is not the actual events, but rather our decisions, responses, and decisions we make that hold the power to distress us. The lens through which we view the challenges of life forms our inner serenity. To develop fortitude in the spirit of Stoicism is to follow the root of individual growth and to acknowledge adversity not as a scourge, but as a teacher. In the crucible of adversity, we learn the full scope of our resilience, which comes from confronting and overcoming life's obstacles with bravery and resoluteness. Emerging similar to tempered steel with personality strengthened by the struggles we have faced, the stoic attitude toward hardship blends perfectly with the stoic conviction that free will is sovereign. Epictetus begs us to face obstacles head on without fear, but with a warrior's bravery because it is through our reactions to outside occurrences that we maintain the sacredness of our inner serenity and poise. It is the resilience gift that enables Stoics to deal with life's turbulent seas with a constant, unwavering gaze even amidst the most tumultuous storms. The fifth lesson is to select your reaction. Epictetus, the esteemed Stoic sage who has traveled the passage of time, leaves us with a profound lesson of immeasurable worth, the influence of decision in our reactions. This lesson, falling under the Stoic philosophy, serves as an unwavering pillar and a lighthouse directing us through the turbulent seas of existence. With steadfast conviction, Epictetus communicates the reality that, although the external events tides may sway, the helm of our answers is firmly contained within our grasp. To realize this, he declares, is the core of Stoic wisdom, where peace and tranquility reign supreme. The control locus the unwavering self within Stoicism is based on substantial self-control and exalts the authority of our reactions to life's diverse challenges. In this hallowed place, the Stoic qualities of wisdom, bravery, temperance, and justice act as guiding stars, lighting the way towards preserving inner tranquility. Epictetus invites us to join him in his sage counsel, to think about the nature of our verdicts and responses, especially in the face of adversity. It is through this crucible of reflection that we become aware of the profound reality that we possess the holy gift of free will, the capacity to deliberately prepare our responses to the numerous outside events that occur in our lives. The stoic method of coping wisely with life's ups and downs is comparable to a masterful painting of existence. The decision to line up our reactions using the stoic qualities enables us to face the challenges of life with the bravery of heroes, the wisdom of sages, the fairness of morally upright hearts, and the moderation of those who follow the path of the stoics. The arsenal of inner mastery buried in the Epicurean wisdom is a fortress of inner peace, impenetrable even to the most violent storms. 
Through conscious decision-making and adherence to stoic virtues, we create a barrier that protects our serenity in the face of difficulty. The Stoics call for clarity in navigating the maze-like passageways of existence resonates with resilience and grace. In the crucible of deliberate decision-making, we foster persistent internal peace. The sixth lesson is to limit excessive wants. Within the remarkable fabric of Stoic knowledge, interwoven with strands of counsel on reason and virtue, the Stoic rule of moderation stands out as a work of art unto itself. Seneca, known for his insightful philosophical writings on virtue and self-improvement, provides us with a paramount lesson of significance, calling us to suppress the ferocious cravings that frequently threaten our inner serenity. At the core of Stoicism is the conviction that excessive cravings akin to choppy waters have the ability to make our lives adrift, keeping us in an unending state of unrest and unhappiness. The Stoic sages, in their steadfast quest for inner calm, acknowledge the dangers of uncontrollably lusting for wealth, status, and material belongings far beyond what is essential for leading a moral life. Seneca's wisdom, echoing the Stoic sentiment, conveys his insight derived from the conviction that genuine contentment finds a home in the sanctuary of restricted wants. This lesson motivates us to traverse the tangled passageways of existence with the moderate rudder directing us toward the inner tranquil harbor of tranquility. The Stoic wrote, as revealed by the wisdom of Seneca, calls us to simplify our cravings seeking only what is necessary for a life filled with goodness and morality. In this simplified pursuit, we find the priceless jewels of contentment and calm, independent of the erratic winds of external fortune. The stoic habit of restricting overindulgent wants takes center stage, ensuring the maintenance of a composed and tranquil state of mind. Within this enclosed space of ancient wisdom, we uncover the deep reality that the passionate pursuit of external treasures is but a temporary mirage, while the true treasures await discovery within. Seneca's instruction serves as a living testament to the unwavering dedication to inner mastery and the restraint of cravings, creating a route leading to the hallowed sanctuary within. The seventh lesson is to practice virtue and act morally. At the core of Stoicism, as developed and revered by legendary Stoic thinkers such as Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, resides the steadfast dedication to virtue, a dedication that lies at the heart of this ancient philosophy. The Stoic virtues, including courage, justice, temperance, and wisdom, become the compass pointing the way to a life characterized by inner serenity and calm. In the opulent fabric of Stoic wisdom, these virtues occupy a sacred place, serving as the moral compass that calls us to navigate the turbulent seas of life with grace and wisdom. Inscribed in the history of Stoic philosophy, these virtues are not merely phrases, rather, they are the foundation supporting the Stoic ideal of living in balance with the laws of nature. Wisdom, one of these cornerstone virtues, acts as a lighthouse illuminating the path of reason and judgment. It requires us to develop a thorough comprehension of the Stoic worldview and our place within it. Sages like Epictetus recognize that wisdom is the foundation upon which all other virtues are built. With wisdom as our guide, we acquire the ability to see things as they truly are and to distinguish between the transient and the enduring. Courage, the second virtue, acts as the sentinel guarding the stronghold of our ethical nature. It calls upon us to confront life's obstacles with stability and determination. 
In the Stoic lexicon, bravery is not the absence of fear, but the overcoming of it. It is the steadfast resolve to face hardship, combined with inner strength. Seneca, through his lessons, extols the importance of courage in forging a tenacious and resilient personality. Justice, the third virtue, spreads its cloak of fairness over the Stoic path. It beckons us to live ethically, adhering to the principles of justice and righteousness. The Stoic thinkers, driven by the wellsprings of justice, guide us in making choices grounded in fairness and virtue. The pursuit of justice ensures that our actions align with the cosmic order, promoting internal calmness and poise. Temperance, the final virtue, acts as the guardian of moderation and self-control. It reminds us to master our desires, for it is through moderation that we discover the path to ultimate fulfillment. Seneca's philosophical essays highlight the importance of simplifying our desires and pursuing only what is necessary for leading a moral life. In moderation, we find the source of inner serenity, regardless of external conditions. These virtues championed by Stoic thinkers come together to forge a life that exemplifies the Stoic ideal. They serve as the lodestar guiding us through life's choppy waves with grace, wisdom, and unwavering inner calm. By embracing these virtues and allowing them to permeate our actions and thoughts, we maintain composure and remain composed, reflecting the unwavering dedication to inner peace and ethical conduct. In the mosaic of Stoicism, the vibrant hues of these virtues compose the image of a life lived in accordance with the immutable truths of the cosmos. The eighth lesson is to recognize life's transient nature. In the insightful and timeless musings of his meditations, Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, delves into the heart of existence, a life infused with transience. His teachings provide evidence of the wisdom that acknowledging the fact that existence is ever-changing is a foundation for maintaining a serene and composed demeanor. Through the eyes of Stoicism, Marcus Aurelius imparts one of the most critical lessons essential for achieving inner peace, the encouragement to undertake a philosophical journey that entails admitting the fleeting and ephemeral elements of life. The Stoic acceptance of this reality, often referred to as the transient essence of life, does not portend despair. Instead, it acts as a pillar of strength, capable of lending depth to our existence. The essence of this lesson is the realization that nothing in the domain of human experience, whether they are happy or challenging times, is permanent. The universe's cycles of adversity and the everlasting tides create a tapestry of perpetual change. The Stoic sage yields to this cosmic dance but chooses to waltz in time with it gracefully and wisely. Marcus Aurelius calls for us to free ourselves from the burden of attachments to those transient moments that flicker across the sky like stars in the night. By instructing us on how to cherish these times and things as they enter our lives and additionally to let them go when the time to leave arrives, we discover an internal sanctuary of serenity and poise, unaffected by the external cyclones. Acknowledging that everything is transient, as advocated by Marcus Aurelius, serves as a balm for the soul. It enables us to place life's ups and downs in perspective, freeing us from the chains of anxiety caused by clinging to what was or could have been. Through this stoic lesson, we become the architects of our inner resilience, constructing a persona characterized by perseverance amidst life's inevitable changes. In understanding the transient nature of life, we open the door to a profound sense of inner calm. We acknowledge 
that our ability to remain composed and at ease transcends the cyclical fluctuations of external conditions. It is a constant presence, akin to the stars that perpetually glow in the night sky, regardless of the transient clouds that pass by. Marcus Aurelius, through his stoic wisdom, invites us to bask in the light of this understanding, providing us with the opportunity to cherish life's fleeting moments while maintaining a steady sense of peace within. The ninth lesson is on the importance of being thankful. In the rich tapestry of Stoic philosophy, intertwined with strands of resilience and wisdom, glistens a gem of deep understanding, the value of gratitude. This lesson, championed by Seneca, one of the most notable Stoic philosophers, sheds light on the path to inner serenity and satisfaction, regardless of life's challenges. It directs us to celebrate not only life's victories, but also its trials, for it is through the lens of gratitude that we find calmness in the face of adversity. In his essays, Seneca extols the virtues of gratitude, praising its merits. He urges us to shift our focus from what we lack to what we possess, finding solace in the present and taking a moment to cherish the treasures that often go unnoticed. In this stoic practice, we discover a powerful tool for maintaining a robust sense of inner serenity. The central idea of Seneca's lessons on gratitude serves as a gentle reminder that being thankful does not depend on the abundance of our possessions, but on our ability to appreciate life's blessings in all their forms. In this sense, gratitude is more than just a response to the pleasant times in life. It is a profound acknowledgement that even amidst the storm's fury, there exists a haven of peace. By cultivating a sense of gratitude, we recalibrate our relationship with life, coming to understand the magnificence of the ordinary, the lesson in adversity, and the value of each passing moment. Seneca encourages us to find contentment in the present, realizing that life's true treasures are not things to be acquired, but experiences to be cherished. The importance of gratitude, as illuminated by Seneca, acts as a guardian of our inner peace. It teaches us to never cease appreciating the blessings that have adorned our journey. Through this, we learn that gratitude is an antidote that transforms the base metals of despair and longing into the gold of contentment and calm. In times of trial, a heart full of gratitude never falters and finds strength, even in adversity, for it recognizes that life's challenges are teachers, as Seneca would say. The steadfast spirit remains resilient in the face of adversity thriving on the nourishment provided by gratitude. In the Stoic tradition, the value of gratitude is a constant companion, guiding us to a profound sense of tranquility, elevating us above the turbulent waves of life and displaying the calm that comes with embracing the gifts, no matter how small or insignificant they may appear. Through Seneca's wisdom, we understand that practicing gratitude is more than just a response to life's pleasures, but a firm acceptance of beauty in even the most challenging moments. Each heartbeat and breath, each passing second, offers us the opportunity to discover the gems of appreciation. The stoic legacy of Seneca invites us to cherish the present moment, not in spite of life's challenges, but because of them and to relish the beauty that surrounds us. In this practice of gratitude, we find a profound sense of peace and calm, even amidst the storms of existence. The tenth lesson is to continue studying and growing within the intricate fabric of Stoicism, where wisdom is interwoven with strands of forbearance and resilience. We discover a brilliant lesson 
that invites us to embark on a lifelong journey of self-improvement. Epictetus, one of the luminaries of Stoicism, serves as a reliable mentor in this endeavor, demonstrating that the path to inner peace and calm is paved with the stones of Stoic dedication to personal growth. Self-improvement is a recurring theme, finding resonance among various Stoic philosophers. Specifically, Epictetus carries the torch of this lesson with unwavering conviction, urging us to walk alongside him on the path of unending development. This pledge is a veritable goldmine of wisdom, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace. At the heart of this Stoic doctrine lies the deep understanding that life is a never-ending journey. We are not static creatures, but vessels of eternal potential, capable of evolving. The dedication to lifelong learning and development is a relentless summons to action and a reminder that wherever we are, there are always horizons to explore and virtues to cultivate. The stoic quest for self-development aligns with the pursuit of knowledge and calm. It's the recognition that inner serenity and poise are not static traits, but dynamic processes enhanced by the never-ending search for understanding. Epictetus encourages us to strive for wisdom as we would for a precious gem, knowing that it is the compass guiding us through the stoic path and the labyrinth of existence. The rhythm of self-betterment finds its beat in the ebb and flow of our life's experiences. We are called not to perfection, but to progress, towards stability rather than stagnation, growth. As this solemn lesson echoes through the halls of wisdom, whispering that the journey of self-improvement is not a final destination, but an endless path. We are reminded of the importance of embracing this journey with open hearts and minds. Taking this lesson to heart, we learn to overcome life's obstacles with stoic perseverance and fortitude. The spirit finds strength, not in the absence of hardship, but in the pursuit of growth which adversity often spurs. We learn that failures are not just obstacles, but stepping stones, and each trial serves as a teacher. The dedication to lifelong growth and learning is a lighthouse in the tempest, serving as a beacon of calm amidst life's difficulties. It is evidence of the Stoic philosophy that regardless of external conditions, we are in control of our inner world. The more we learn, the more we grow, and the more we grow, the better equipped we become to weather the storms of life. In the echoes of Epictetus's lessons, we find an invitation to celebrate the journey of self-actualization, to enjoy the process of learning, and to honor the spirit of growth. This lesson instills confidence that each step on this path brings us closer to the heart of Stoicism, a life characterized by inner peace, poise, and the pursuit of knowledge in a world full of distractions and fears. Stoicism provides a timeless and practical manual for maintaining composure and poise. By adhering to these 10 Stoic teachings, inspired by the wisdom of various Stoic thinkers, and exemplifying the virtue of temperance, you can navigate life's obstacles with the grace, wisdom, and inner calm of a Stoic. Temperance becomes a guiding anchor, steering you through life's turbulence and helping you maintain your composure in the face of adversity. As you embrace these Stoic lessons, you cultivate a deep sense of calmness and balance that allows you to thrive despite life's challenges. The timeless wisdom of Stoicism reminds us that tranquility within and calmness is independent of external conditions, but are cultivated within. By applying these beneficial teachings, we forge a path 
to a life of inner peace, resilience, and fulfillment. If this was any help to you, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Let us know what do you of the video in the comments down below. We will see you soon. Good luck in your journey.